Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Ethical Hacking Roadmap 2024 at Simply Learn. Do you know friends that according to LinkedIn's report of 2024, it reveals that the demand for ethical hacker is continuing to grow as cybersecurity threats have become more complex. In this video, we are going to discuss about the educational background needed, especially emphasizing on computer science or information technology. Then we are going to discuss about developing key skills like programming and network configuration. Then we are going to discuss about what important certifications you should undertake to become a certified ethical hacker. Then we will also discuss about diverse job opportunities in the sectors like technology, finance and government where cybersecurity expert is needed. Finally, we will highlight the attractive salary prospects in this dynamic field, preparing you for a successful career in ethical hacking. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional and looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. For more details, use the link in the description box below. So let's get started. So let's get started. Now, how to become an ethical hacker in 2024? The first one is basic foundation. You need to understand what ethical hacking is all about. So basically, ethical hacking is all about using your skills for good and helping to protect systems and data from cyber threats. The first thing is basic education. First things first, you need to finish high school. And during high school, try to focus on subjects like mathematics, computer science, and IT. Next is your higher education. Okay, so after high school, try to go for the higher education. So as we all know that, after high school, consider pursuing a degree in computer science, information technology, or cyber security. Now you might be wondering, do I really need a degree? Well, a degree can definitely help. It gives you a solid foundation and is often preferred by employers. However, it's not the only way to become an ethical hacker. If you are passionate and committed, you can learn the necessary skills on your own. Many successful hackers have taken this self-taught route. But remember, it's just not about the degree. It's about the skills and knowledge you gain along the way. Employers are looking for people who can solve problems and think creatively whether they have a degree or not. So I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding this. Now let's move on the second part. That is developing the essential skills. The first one is programming. So guys, why it's important? Look guys, programming is like learning a new language, but for communicating with the computers. So what to learn first? So start with Python because it is beginner friendly and powerful. Then pick up C and C++ for understanding low-level operations and JavaScript for web-based hacking. How to practice? Write small scripts, automate tasks and eventually build your own hacking tools. The next one is networking. So guys, networking is very, very important. Networks are like the roads connecting all the computers. Understanding networking is very, very crucial because it's where most hacking happens. So what to learn? Learn about IP addresses, subnets, protocols like TCP IP and how data travels across the networks. Now how you can practice? You can set up your own network lab at your home using virtual machines and experiment with different networking setups. Now let's move on to the next part that is operating system. So guys, why it's important? Because most hacking tools are designed for a specific operation, especially Linux. Get comfortable with Linux like distros, Kali Linux and understand the basics of Windows and Mac OS. How to practice? Use Linux as your main operating systems. Play around with the terminal commands and understand file structures. Now, the next part is security concepts. So guys, why it's important? Security concepts are like the rules of the game. Knowing them helps you understand how to break and fix things. So what to learn? Focus on encryption, how data is protected, firewalls, how to defend networks, VPNs, how to secure connection, and ideas how to detect intrusions. How you can practice? Implement these security measures in your own systems and try to bypass them to see how they work. 
So these are the core skills that form the backbone of an ethical hacker's knowledge. It's just not learning about them, but practicing and applying them in real world scenarios. Now great, you have built a solid educational foundation and developed the essential skills. Now let's talk about the certifications. So guys, certifications are like the badges of honor that you have to show to have knowledge and skills to be an ethical hacker. Some of the key certifications are, the first one is certified ethical hacker. Why it's important guys, CEH is one of the most recognized certifications in the ethical hacking world. It covers the fundamentals of ethical hacking and teaches you the mindset and tools hackers use. What it demonstrates, by earning this certification, you show that you understand the core principles of ethical hacking, including how to scan test and hack systems. Now, how to study it? You can study the CEH curriculum, which includes topics like footprinting, scanning, enumeration, and system hacking. Then pass the CEH exam to get certified. The next one is CompTIA Security Plus. Why it's important guys? Security Plus is a great starting point for a career in cybersecurity. It covers a wide range of security topics from network security to risk management. What it demonstrate guys? This certification proves that you have a foundational knowledge and is required for any cybersecurity role. It's like often stepping stone to more advanced certification. Now how you can get it? You can prepare by studying the CompTIA Security Plus material, focusing on the key areas like threats, attacks, vulnerabilities and security architecture. Pass the Security Plus exam to earn your certification. Next is Offensive Security Certified Professional, OSCP. Why it's important guys? We all know that OSCP is known for its hands-on practical approach and it's highly respected in the industry because it requires you to actually perform hacking and techniques in a controlled environment. What it demonstrates guys? Earning the OSCP shows that you can identify, exploit and document vulnerabilities in various systems. How you can get it? Complete the Offensive Certification Penetration Testing with Kali Linux or PWK course. Then pass the rigorous OSCP exam which involves 24 hours of hacking challenge. Then is Certified Information Security Professional CISSP. Why it is important guys? CISSP is an advanced certification that is aimed at those looking to move higher level security roles like management or architecture. What it demonstrates? It shows that you have a deep understanding of cybersecurity principles and can design and implement and also manage a best in class cybersecurity program. How you can get it? Study the eight domains of CISSP, common body of knowledge, which includes security, risk management, asset security, and security engineering. Pass the CISSP exam and meet the work experience required to get certified. Now, let us move on to the next part. That is gaining the practical experience. This is where you are going to put your knowledge to the test and hone your skills in the real world scenarios. You have to be ready to dive in some hands on action. You can experiment with platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me and CyberSec Labs, which are the fantastic resources. Now let us move to the next part, that is internship. So guys, we all know that internships are entry level positions which provide real world experience and chance to apply skills in a professional setting. So what you can do guys, you can seek out internships or jobs in IT network administration or cyber securities. These roles will give you a hands on experience with the systems and technologies you will be protecting as an ethical hacker. Check the job boards, company websites and LinkedIn for openings. Don't be afraid to reach out to companies directly to inquire about internship opportunities. You have to tailor your resume to highlight your skills and certifications and be prepared to discuss your hands-on experience from labs and simulations. Next is Big Bounty Programs. Bug Bounty Programs are an excellent way to test your skills in a real-world scenarios. Companies offer these programs to identify security vulnerabilities in their systems and they reward you for finding and reporting these issues. Platforms like HackerOne and BugCrowd connect ethical hackers with companies offering bug bounties. And it's a very amazing opportunity for you to practice the hacking. These platforms provide a legal and structured way to test your skills. Now, let us move to the next part. That is staying updated. So guys, cybersecurity is a rapidly evolving field and staying updated is a crucial for maintaining your edge. Here's how you can keep your knowledge fresh. Continuous learning. The landscape of cybersecurity is always changing with new threats and technologies. Keep up with the latest news, blogs, forums and also you can include great resources like Krebs on security, 
dark reading and reddit net check community make it a habit to read articles and participate in discussions regularly subscribe to the newsletter and follow key influencers in cyber security space next is conferences and workshops so guys these are the key conferences that you should definitely attend like defcon black hat rsa conference and you should attend these event either in person or virtually now let us move to the next part that is online courses continuous education helps you to keep your skills sharp and up to date platforms like coursera udemy and cyber array offer a wide range of courses on various cyber security topics you can enroll in courses that cover new tools techniques and concepts now sixth is join the community so guys being part of the cyber security community is an invaluable for your career growth the first part that comes up is networking networking with other professionals can provide valuable insights support and job opportunities professional organizations like the information security association or issa and ec council are a great place to start now the second part is mentorship so guys a mentor can guide you share resource and help you navigate your career path look for experienced ethical hackers who are willing to mentor you now let us discuss about the companies hiring ethical hackers so companies like amazon accenture google are definitely looking for hiring ethical hackers and these are some of the tech giants other companies are also like palo alto fireeye crowdstrike and also consulting firms like deloitte pwc and kpmg now let us discuss about job roles and salaries the first we are going to target about job roles the first one is penetration tester conducting simulated attacks to find out the vulnerabilities cyber security analyst what he does guys he monitors and analyzes security systems the next one is security consultant which is advising organizations on best security practices next one is security engineer who develops and maintains security systems and finally you're going to have incident responder investigating and responding to security breaches now let us discuss about the average salary salaries for ethical hacker in india are typically from entry position 4 lakh lpa to 6 lakh lpa per year and for senior roles command over 15 lpa to 25 lpa per year in the united states the salary is around 70000 dollars to 90 us thousand dollars per year so with senior positions the salary is between 130000 us dollars to 170000 us dollars per year so guys if we talk about salaries based on their roles so so a security analyst gets around 150000 us dollars in usa then you have in india he gets around 11 lakhs per annum if we talk about penetration tester he gets around 145000 us dollars in usa and in india is around 13 lpa now if we talk about security consultant he gets around 120000 us dollars whereas in india he gets around 10 lakh per annum thank you guys for watching this video on ethical hacking road map i hope so you hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here